Chris Poetica number 92, Marcus Garvey on elocution. And some of the words and lines in this poem are taken from Marcus Garvey's actual words. Ars Poetica number 92, Marcus Garvey on elocution. Elocution means to speak out. That is to say, if you have a tale to tell, tell it, and tell it well. This I was taught. To speak properly, you must have sound and good teeth. You must have clear nostrils. Your lungs must be sound. Never try to make a speech on a hungry stomach. Don't chew your words, but talk them out plainly. Always see that your clothing is properly arranged before you get on a platform. You should not make any mistake in pronouncing your words, because that invites amusement for certain people. To realize I was trained for this, expected to speak out to speak well. To realize my family believed I would have words for others. An untidy leader is always a failure. A leader's hair should always be well kept. His teeth must also be in perfect order. Your shoes and other garments must also be clean. If you look ragged, people will not trust you. My father's shoeshine box, black kiwi, cordovan kiwi, the cloths, the lamb's wool brush. My grandmother's dressing table, potions for disciplining anything scraggle or stray. For goodness sake, always speak out, said Marcus Garvey, said my parents, said my grandparents, and meant it. Ars Poetica number 100, I Believe. Poetry, I tell my students, is idiosyncratic. Poetry is where we are ourselves, though Sterling Brown said, every eye is a dramatic eye, digging in the clam flats for the shell that snaps, emptying the proverbial pocketbook. Poetry is what you find in the dirt in the corner, over here on the bus, God in the details, the only way to get from here to there. Poetry, and now my voice is rising, is not all love, 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 and I'm sorry the dog died. Poetry, here I hear myself loudest, is the human voice. And are we not of interest to each other?